Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Flam Rouge Racing series. If you're new here, welcome. A little bit about me, my name is Eric, I am 6'1", um, about 175 pounds and according to Zwift, my ZFTP 253, I have a much more impressive uh, Z map as you can tell. This is the stage one, it's an individual time trial on the France Classic Fondo. I'm not too familiar with this route, but it's a long one at uh, nearly 28 miles and uh, a little over a thousand feet of climbing it actually ends on the petite KOM so I stink at time trials I stink at steady state efforts um, I'm just probably one of my uh, arguably worst disciplines on the bike um, I've never ridden a BMX bike I anticipate I'd be really bad at that considering they're very small and I'm uh, quite tall but that's totally different so um, I, I don't I don't don't think I'm, I'm real good at the the time trials and the steady state efforts but I made it my goal to like hold 250 as close as I could and one thing in hindsight of course I think I did wrong on this I didn't start out in a classic Zwift poop pants effort right out the gate. I I stood up on the pedals for like maybe a second and then just like, I was like, okay, 250, 250. And there's no draft on this. You don't even get to choose your bike, which is what I like about the Flam Rouge Racing Series. It's very, I guess, neutralized in that sense. You do get to choose your set of wheels. So I went with the disc um, per Zwifter Bikes, the website. I talked about them on my uh, previous video, actually. And so I'm, I'm going with the full disc. I thought that would be best. Um, it's a pretty flat course overall. Uh, the second half gets a little bit rolling. So it was, it was a little more challenging to hold the steady power um, towards the second half. But nonetheless, I am stoked to see just pure yellow across the bottom. Or, you know, pretty much pure yellow across the bottom. Didn't think I could do it, to be completely honest. Again, uh, it, it's just not my forte. So, um, anyways, I am. This is my third ever Flam Rouge Racing Series, and I'm going in feeling pretty good. The one in January that I did uh, was coming off of like the holidays and eating junk, and I've been traveling, and I started the new year pretty sick. So, January 2nd rolled around, and I was. But I was in a rough spot, actually. So this one this is my whoop recovery. I'm on 79%, well in the green, feeling really good, actually. And especially with um, a race series as intense as this one, mainly because it's days straight, I really try to uh, count my macros, actually. Really want to make sure I'm properly fueled. Um, and I'll be honest, in going into this, I, I wasn't properly fueled. Um, I sugared myself up a ton. I ate like a bunch of candy. I, I actually keep sugar in my bottle. Uh, thank you, Jesse Coyle from the Nero Show. Uh, learned a lot from that. And then in my other bottle, I have uh, actual electrolytes and carbohydrates and stuff. So um, I knew this was going to be a little over an hour of, of riding. And we're coming up to the hour mark now. And um, yeah, still got just over five more miles. So again, this second half it gets a little bit more rolling. And uh, it, again, a little more challenging to hold the steady power. And if you were paying attention, I didn't, I didn't really make mention of it. I did not start out strong at all. And I, I was trying desperately to not watch the people around me. There's no draft anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, this is strictly against the clock. You against the clock. Again, I stink at that. So uh, I was like 40s or close to it. And uh, it's not a huge pen, actually. So... Um, I am slowly but surely making my way, kind of ticking guys off, um, which, again, I felt great about this. For a dude who stinks at time trials, humble brag, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I, I'm very happy with this effort, actually, so I like it. So here we are. We're kind of winding it down. We are going into the petite KOM right about now. Here it is. Um, and actually, I was able to ramp up the power ever so slightly. Maybe just because I, I tried to keep the cadence at this point and I wanted to ramp up the power. Um, I tell you what, if you've been watching this channel for a while, if you did or did not watch um, my climb portal videos that I was doing several months back at this point, uh, earlier in the fall, 
I did a lot of climb portals and it really taught me how to climb and how to pace climbs. Um, so part of my course recon, I look at the climb. I think this is truthfully the second time I've ever done this uh, petite KOM. And I think the previous one was six minutes. So I know to shoot for six, uh, I don't know, eight minutes. I don't remember how long I'd ridden for previously. I don't think I was holding 250 no. watts steady. So six minutes was, was I thought, kind of lofty. But it, it gave me something to um, pace towards. So really pleased with that. And I think I finished the Petit KOM at seven minutes something, actually. So it didn't beat my one-time previous record, but that's okay. Um, it does not finish at the uh, banner there. It's uh, another kilometer down the hill. Um, so, yeah. I'll bring it in, dude. And, again, like, very pleased with my effort here. I... I really surprised oh. myself, to be honest. Holy moly, I've never had it look so good before. That, I mean, anyone just looking at that, they'd be like, well, must have been a time trial. I'm, I'm good with that. And I upped it on the final hill. 185 on the last climb. Petite KOM. Dude, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Dude, I feel really good about that. Some would say I'm pretty easy to please. But uh, we look at the Flam Rouge Racing stats here, and I got 145th, uh, I believe, overall now. So I am 5 minutes, 46 seconds behind the lead guy. Uh, I, th I think I took the screenshot, and there was one more pen to go, but um, the next day it was still unchanged. So here we are. Not bad, actually. I'll take it. Again, not a TT guy, but I'm happy with my results. Stage 2 coming up right now. Um, feeling kind of stiff. Recovery is not great. Had a lot of pizza last night. I, I was under fueled uh, for the day and I know blasting my brains out on Zwift is just gonna like uh, put me in a deep hole. So I really try to focus on recovery and nutrition. Uh, two laps of the Muckley Inn is on deck. I've decided I'm gonna go for the sprint jersey as best I can. Um, so with that, I'm just gonna like cruise for the race and uh, blast the two sprint segments that are in this. I guess four total, because it's two laps. So let's get to it. Despite my abysmal uh, recovery score, again, I sugared myself up, had sugar in the bottle, was eating a bunch of candy, uh, got that glucose nice and high, um, and I was just like, feeling pretty good, actually. I'm staying with the group nice and well. I got this new strategy in my mind that uh, I deal it's going to work out. And if I remember right, FRR takes the best time of your segment. Um, so, for example, if you get a better um, time on the segment, the first go around, then the second go around, they, they'll take the first one. Don't quote me on that. I don't really know. But I want to skip ahead. This is segment number one. Um, Again, we're doing two laps, so ultimately there's going to be four segments, two per lap. Dude, look at this. Unleashed the beast right here. Was, was In the draft, was recovering nice and well. Push, 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 push. Okay, not really. But fourth overall, pretty good. Doesn't matter what I got in placement, it matters my time. Um, I sprinted so hard, I had to nice. crank down the tightness on my shoe, actually. So... Um, and I will say these sprint segments were not easy. I don't, I don't remember them being this hard for some reason. I guess I've never gone all out on them. But both of them are uphill, and both of them are kind of long, like about a minute. Naturally, things got real spaced out on the skirt portion. Um, I am not for sure not competing for the the polka dot jersey. And nor am I competing for the GC, so I actually I kind of I kind of let them go. Found a found a smaller group, um, a little about mid pack. You know I want to have that accountability for this segment for the second segment here. Again, go all out as best I can. Um, it it, dude, I'm telling you these are hard segments. I don't remember them being this hard. It kind of flattens out, punches back up to another four percent, and then levels out. But at this point, I got nothing left, so. I do it, do it as best I can, and now it's at this point, it's like, you know what? I think that was the best I could have done on both of these segments, so I let this group fly. Like, I I saw myself out. I just, I was like, you know what? At one point, I did try to catch back on. I, I thought, yeah, bag this, I'm not doing that. So 
I let him go, and honestly, like, I just finished out lap two pretty much solo, honestly. But I still made it a point to give my all on each segment. Uh, luckily, I had at least one person to start the segment out with. Granted, this individual has a polka dot jersey, so they're for sure not going for the sprint. So, uh, sayonara. Um, again, again, do my best always. Always, always, always. Um, my best isn't always that great, I'll be honest, especially when I've already done it two other times. It's a lot, so, um, but the sun kind of came up. There was three people to start with, and I, you know, it's always a boost of confidence when you're able to blow somebody out of the water, aka they're not even contesting for this segment, but whatever, so, uh, I hammered this one out. Again, just the best I can. The legs are, like, turned into jelly as I'm pedaling, so... Um, but the good thing was I threw in the towel after this. I finished the race. I just I just went across the finish line, and my work was done, man. Cause I'm going for the sprints. We're done. It's my race. Not not bad. All my hard work and dedication got me a new 30 second power of 695 watts. Super stoked about that. And in even better news, check this out. FRR standings. This is just the green jersey. Just just sprint points. Your boy is number eighteen out of hundreds, millions probably. But uh, no, it, it is just a couple hundred. But uh, no, dude, eighteen in two stages. I am stoked about that. So I'm I'm like, mm, I'm so stoked for that. So guys, thank you so very much for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be getting these videos out as best I can, as often as I can. Drop me a word of encouragement down below, and I'll see you in the next one.